The next morning is day one for the iron workers from Fontana Steel, led by 32-year-old Julio Sandoval. Put in everything, everything else. Put in that one, this one, everything. I got the small one, you can start cutting over there. This will be his first job for Fontana as foreman. For iron workers, there are two basic kinds of high-rises. The ones built out of structural steel I-beams and the ones like Evo, built out of poured concrete. Concrete needs to be reinforced with steel rebar to keep it from collapsing. The iron workers who put in all this rebar call themselves rod busters. Julio's job is to make sure all this rebar exactly matches the structural plan. Julio. Overseeing his work is full-time on-site building inspector Troy Bridges. I gotta get some cables down first. I got an electrician coming in as soon as I can. Yeah, I'll, I'll get a guy on this. Five, four and four. The structural deck for the first parking level will be poured directly on top of the rat slab. The rod busters begin by laying down rows of metal risers called slab bolsters. Slab bolsters elevate the rebar to make sure it's embedded well inside the concrete. Hold that. Good. You ready, Jesus? Once the rebar is laid down, it needs to be tied to keep it in place. A sure test of a skilled iron worker is how fast he can tie. When you start tying, you tie like a little baby. But usually people that start off, they won't let them tie because they'll, they'll be there like two minutes trying to make a tie. Or you, you lose money that way. Julio and his crew have been given only four days to set down over 6,000 pieces of rebar to make the concrete pour on Monday. That wouldn't be a problem if only the structural engineer would stop making changes to the deck layout. We're a little bit behind schedule because a lot of changes and problems. Whenever there's a change, everybody has to change the program. So we're trying to make a pour for Monday, so we'll get it done. I walked, I walked over here with it. The superintendent is starting to worry. Thanks your guy, Clint. Electrician, when, when is he going to get on this deck? Give me a time. It's 20 to 8 right now. They're done right here. I gotta get them. I gotta get my bottom mat in there right now. So that's where I'm at right now. It's not noon. I've got the inspector coming at noon. He's got nothing to look at. Yeah. Now he's gonna say, is. "Well," and he's gonna say, "You're gonna pour Monday. How am I gonna inspect? I can't. You know. So we're we're screwed."